Jim. Jim. Jonathan. Nice to see you. All right, guys. All right. Let's make this funny. Let's make it. All right. Funny. All right. All right. All right. The, the Hall of Famers have. They've done fine. You know about his pinky injury, right? Yes. Pinky. Yes. All right. Make fun of that. Okay. Yeah. All right. Make fun of my pinky a little bit. So we get six seconds into spring training, and the, the we're, One, we're we're telling we're two. What? Three, yeah. And we get six seconds in and we're thinking, just don't get hurt in spring training. What happens? What's the first thing you do in spring training? Well, you know, it was actually when that short. It was actually about a week and a half, I believe. But uh, was, okay, you want you see when you came in the room, you said, "Let's have some fun here." Well, the first rule of fun in having an interview is just going along with the interview. All right. <laughs> yeah, it was okay. It was three seconds in. Okay, so, in, so what happened? Yeah, That's what happened. yeah. On the end or the side? The very, the very end. Yeah, very end. yeah. My pinky got in the way. Because that seems like a thing a kind of little kid would do, you know. <laughs> yeah, I, I was trying to, I was trying to punch the ball. Yeah, it didn't work out. It was bad. I was trying to catch the ball with my pinky. It didn't work out too bad. How painful is it right now? It's no pain right now. Okay. No, so there's not tape in. You no, get a I, shot. I, no, I think I know with it. It works out good. Okay. Awesome. Do we have more yeah, hardware in there? Is there a pin, a <laughs> screw, a rod? No, there's a pin in there. All there's right. A pin. It works good too. All right. So are you are you ready to go? Are you? I'm ready to go. I feel like I'm. I feel like I'm 100% defensively because obviously throwing didn't really bother it. Yeah. But uh, you know, uh, hitting's a concerned, so we'll see what happens. But you're ready to go now. I'm ready now to go now. Today. I'm ready to go now. Call off the rest of this. Defensively, I'm ready to go right now. I'm All right, so go. nothing you'll want to work on yet? Nothing left? Uh, no, I mean, obviously there's stuff i got to touch up on make sure I'm tied on, you know, mm -hmm. but other than that, hitting is a, is a concern, like I Your said. Your uniform fits? It My uniform fits right? tight. Is that the arm fits too bad? Or no, no, it's good. The hat it's, okay? It, it's great. What about the glove? The glove's great. Glove's good. Everything's been clean. How many batting gloves you go through in a year? Uh, probably about five or six. When do you know when it's time to get a new one? Whenever they start stinking a little bit, they start getting a little, really? little nasty. Little do you ever ask anyone else, does this stink? <laughs> every now and then, every now and then, I yeah. get shoved in someone's well, face. for a new one. Yeah. Man, this is like speed question and answer. Right. I can't even keep up with you guys. It's okay. If you got one, throw it in. This okay. Lurkroy kid, he is ready to go. You think spring training's <laughs> worn on him? I don't think so. You know, there's a lot of jokes about catchers. You probably heard them all, right? Uh, I've heard some of them. Tools of ignorance, all that stuff. No one really wants to be a catcher. I think I have a little bit of stupidity in me to be like, gee, that catcher is sure stupid. Look at that stupid catcher, all that. You gotta be stupid to stand in front of someone coming at you and get run over. But aren't you glad they have better equipment now instead of that round glove that was just like a pillow and that uh, you know, <laughs> protector? Yeah. yeah, I'm a little, uh, yeah, I definitely couldn't handle it, man. Some of those old timers are tough. Man. Yeah, that would be that would be awful. Yeah. Now, uh, traditionally, uh, uh, catchers were always big guys like Lance Parrish or guys like that. You are not one of the bigger guys, I wouldn't say, that's behind the plate. No, I'm not. I'm, I'm a little girl. Okay, well, I don't have to say that. I don't uh, know what the guys uh, downstairs are about saying. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, no, no, no. I'm not a little girl back there. But I'm, I'm one of the smaller guys in the big leagues. But that's okay. I like it like that. Uh, is there any uh, the thought of any particular player coming around third and headed for home that sort of bothers you? i tell you what. There's one guy I'll be deathly afraid of. Two guys. And they're on the same team with me, Ricky Weeks and Prince Fielder. Yeah. So I, I don't I don't have to be under Steven into that. Yeah. And I feel sorry for the guys that are. So I couldn't handle that, man. Okay, so if you had to run Ricky Weeks at Prince Fielder. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> man. <laughs> what is quickness or or, uh, or just a, a brute size uh, uh, win on that one? Uh, you know what? I, I, I don't know. I mean, Ricky, Ricky's, Ricky's, is a, solid. Ricky's a tough, strong guy. But Prince... Yeah. Chris was doing sumo wrestling in the off season, so he I don't was. know what's going on. Yeah, you need to ask him about it. All right, I have, I have to give you the answer to this question. The best answer we've ever gotten, uh, and I don't even remember who gave it to us. It was last year. The best answer we ever got to this question was pickle juice popsicles. And the question was, what's the best treat you ever had after a Little League game? Uh, so, yeah, it's so one of the pictures. Who was it last year? Said who was it? Uh, I can't remember. Uh, some. I don't remember, but your your favorite uh, your favorite uh, treat after a little league game? Pickle juice popsicles. Some hillbilly that was on the team a year ago <laughs> had those, and they loved them. I can't top that. I mean, we we say the normal things like a, you know, we go to pizza or something. I mean, yeah. stuff like that. But I can't top that, honestly. I don't know what would be worse than that or better than that. You know, I don't know <laughs> well, it's, just, it's just your favorite. Just what you liked best. My favorite? Yeah. Well, we would always go. There's a place back home in Florida, a little sports bar that was kind of spread around central Florida called Gators Dockside. And we'd yeah. always go there and crush some wings and stuff. Like yeah. That. That was yeah. It. Boy, that's a far cry from the, well, you can have every flavor of cigar bubble gum you'd like. <laughs> yeah. That's <laughs> Really? Wings? All right. I mean, that's pretty it's much like it. Grown I can't, up stuff. Yeah, grown up stuff. I can't talk right. it. 
Beetlejuice popsicle. That's pretty disgusting. Did you catch all through high school and all the way through? I've been catching since I was 10 years old. What's your backup position? If you can't catch, you're breaking fingers left and right. You're like, I'm Probably done in guard tackle. Oh, all right. You guys know that. Whole switch of, you know that is? You're the bench, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Basically. Yeah. You thought we didn't know that, didn't See, you? I'll just check. I'm a lot older than you. Here's a couple of guys who probably don't even know baseball uh, gloves. <laughs> Let me just run a turn by him. Yeah, I know that the, I know that you're sitting behind the pillow back there, <laughs> catching the ball every game, taking care of business. <laughs> As I'm guessing, I just made sure I threw it out there. All right, so is your household set up when you get to uh, Milwaukee? Yes, I am. We, uh, we have a little place out in Brookfield out there. Real nice Don't give a location. You have to, you have to Brookfield's pretty big. Brookfield's pretty I big. I know it is. We're a very popular you're show. Not, a lot of people are going to hear this. You're not, not going to cut the grass or anything. No, no. we don't have a yard. Okay. Brian, the, the guy can barely catch a baseball without getting hurt. We don't want to give any power equipment. Oh, right. right. <laughs> no. All right, so cable all hooked up and everything? Everything's ready to rumble. We're back. Um, if you had to cook, could you? Oh, believe it. Really? Oh, what? Yeah. Like what? Roll out the best one. What do you got? Uh, I do. Uh, well, I like to uh, hunt in the off season. Uh, I shoot a lot of a lot of ducks and stuff. I live in Louisiana now. Where to college at? Yeah, and I can make some serious grilled duck breast. Really? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Serious. What about the little legs? No, I don't do little legs. They're about they're about as big as my broken pinky. So I don't know if I eat one of those. All right. Glad you said pinky. Because <laughs> no, they're about as big as my pinky. Oh, oh no, pinky. Oh. All right. Scale of one to ten right. before we let you out of here because you have some work to do today. Uh, of all the interviews you've done, where does this rank on a scale of one to ten? One being horrible, ten being great. I say probably, probably nine point five. Oh, wow. awesome. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Laid back. I like the <laughs> yeah. I like the not serious questions. Yeah. Yes. Everybody's asking me, "How's your pinky doing?" Yeah. And I'm like, yeah. "It hurts. I can't play." <laughs> yeah. Do a voice. Do a little, do like a whiny little by pinky hurts voice. <laughs> My pinky hurts. <laughs> hey, and hey, you guys, I was gonna pull out a movie line, but now your back's gonna hurt. You need full lawn duty. Cause what movie is that? That would be Happy Gilmore. Oh, see. Oh, everyone hates that movie. Come on. Oh, everyone Come hates on. that movie. Jeez. I say that all the time. People ask me how my, no, really? my you guys are office space. Yeah. No, you know, I mean, that's okay. That one. That's okay. All right. Well, this is something new. We wrapped up the interview, and the guest wouldn't leave. He just kept talking. <laughs> it must be. All right, guys. I'm having a lot of fun. It must be spring train. <laughs> Down to the banks of the time. All right, guys. Thanks. Thanks so much. Excellent. Very nice. Thank Thanks, you, dude. All right, guys. Thank you.